This is the uh, Stony Creek ride, uh, the uh, Stony Valley. This is the uh, Stony Valley Railroad grade uh, ride that uh, I'm showing here. This is a uh, old converted railroad bed, a uh, little bit of history. Uh, this is uh, the uh, old Schuylkill and Susquehanna Railroad, which was built in the 1850s. Uh, it was to uh, transport coal from out of these mountains. And uh, by 1944, the mines were exhausted and uh, lumber stripped, and the railroad fell into disuse. So, uh, what they did was they uh, converted it. The Game Commission bought it in 1945 and uh, turned it into uh, Game Commission lands. Uh, they've, they basically have uh, responsibility for this rails trails ride. Uh, Essex is one was the was one of the earliest uh, rails trails and also unique because once a once a day every year they allow you to actually drive this road if you want. Uh, so if you're interested in doing that, uh, check into it and find out what day that is and come on up and ride you know drive it. Um, so interesting aspects about this um, is that uh, it's. Um, uh, it's, it's 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 packed gravel. You know the the road has it's got good drainage for the most part. Uh, it can accommodate two cyclists fairly easily, fairly comfortably. Uh, there are places where it does deteriorate down to uh, to a narrow track and, and sometimes loose gravel. And there's heavy stone patches, and there's uh, you know often branches down on the road. Uh, so really, it's pretty much suited to mountain bikes. Uh, can use something else. Uh, road bikes I'd definitely say no. Um, if, if you want to use a hybrid you could but I think it'd beat it up pretty good. Uh, you, I use a full suspension mountain bike which at the end of this I'll show you what uh, mine looks like. Uh, at the end of this video uh, you'll, you'll get to see what uh, really I, pr I prefer and would uh, recommend uh, to anyone who wants to do this right. Some other features about this uh, rails and trails, it's very remote, there's no food, there's no water, no restrooms from end to end, it's about uh, 20 miles. Uh, there's no cell phone service, and I'll repeat that, it's, you know, it's miles from nowhere and has no cell phone service. Uh, some of the positive aspects, you know, there's often you'll run into deer, bears, there are bears there, turkeys, uh, turtles, squirrels chipmunks and uh, you know, the usual number of small birds that you'll hear often chirping on both sides of you as you come down the trail. Uh, there's food plots the uh, Game Commission has, you know, there's a stream, uh, you'll see fishermen uh, walking up the trail to the stream because it's right on the, on in this, this section, it's on the left hand side, as you can see, there's drop offs on both sides so you do have to stay on the trail when you're riding here. Uh, now I am going double the speed here, so I'm usually not going this fast, but I didn't want to bore anyone by just showing out the normal speed. Um, interesting part about the stream, we talked about the coal mines, uh, so there's acid mine drainage, and uh, there are some uh, uh, diversion wells which uh, help neutralize the acid and make it uh, livable for trout. So the uh, Fish and Boat Commission, they come in and they stock with trout every spring, several times and uh, a lot of fishermen uh, help out so they know where they've stocked it and so it's a classic uh, and very well liked uh, uh, put and take stream uh, so if you like to fish you can obviously uh, uh, walk in or I've seen a lot of people just ride their bikes and I saw a fisherman once fully geared out with his wading gear riding a bike up the trail so it's doable obviously um, it's it's a, it's a nice ride. And this is towards the uh, out the dolphin end, and you'll get to see a little bit of what uh, the scenery looks like. Uh, just wanted to show that to you here, um, and I'm going to be showing you what uh, what my bike looks like. Yes, uh, for those of you who are be interested in uh, the bike that I use, this is it. Uh, this is a picture. This is a Gravity F S F S X 1.0 full suspension mountain bike. I purchased it from BikesDirect.com. Um, it wasn't that expensive. It's a nice bike. Uh, it's aluminum frame. 
um, disc brakes, 24 speed, um, does the job. It's, it was purchased specifically for the uh, rails and trails that I like to ride. Gets me away from traffic and it gets me to see some really nice scenery. Well, there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Get back to me uh, with any comments. Thanks.